Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Sunday, September 27th. This is Gina McGuire. We are not expecting any significant impacts to fire potential this week. However, still the very warm and dry conditions that have been in place will continue for the next few days, especially across Nevada and Utah, and we'll also see periods of breezy winds. However, temperatures will start to go down from mid to late week, along with moisture beginning today for showers and thunderstorms across parts of northern Utah into southeastern Idaho and Wyoming and increasing towards midweek. We will be watching the winds as they increase towards Wednesday, especially along the Sierra front, ahead of another area of low pressure, as this area has been very dry for over 30 days. Looking at the precipitation over the last 24 hours, no showers and thunderstorms were reported, and over the last seven days, very dry conditions have continued across the Great Basin. However, over the last 30 days, we have seen some significant amounts of precipitation over the eastern half of the Great Basin, with still no precipitation over the last 30 to 45 days over western Nevada. The water vapor satellite image from this morning shows high pressure has been pushed a little bit further east over the southern portion of the Great Basin, keeping southern Utah and Nevada warm and dry. However, a cold front moving across the northwest will continue pushing eastward across Idaho and the northern Rockies. This will bring cooler temperatures and some breezy winds today to the north, along with some showers and thunderstorms over parts of Wyoming, Idaho, and into far northern Utah. As we move towards the middle of the week, this area of low pressure well off the west coast will approach, and this will allow for some increasing winds and also bring moisture to Idaho. However, we'll be watching the winds as they increase across the Sierra front, as this area has been critically dry for over a month. Currently, significant fire potential remains low to moderate and is definitely lower the further north and east you go due to recent moisture and cooler temperatures. Temperatures today will remain quite warm across Nevada and Utah with valley highs reaching the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. However, we'll see more cooling today across Idaho, dropping highs in the 70s in the valleys. Winds today will be breezy out of the southwest in most areas, however, will remain below critical values, but winds will be shifting to the north and northwest behind the front across Idaho. As we move into Monday, moisture lingers and is pushed a little bit further south into parts of central and northeast Utah near the Uinta Basin for showers and thunderstorms to continue, along with higher humidity. The rest of the Great Basin will remain dry. Generally low to moderate fire potential is expected. Relative humidity will continue to drop into the low to mid-teens across Nevada, but will be a little bit higher further east where we see those showers and thunderstorms. Again, winds on Monday will remain moderate, maybe a little bit stronger along the Sierra front than what we'll see today, but still should remain below critical levels with gusts below 30 miles per hour. As we move into Tuesday, the area of high pressure starts to build back over the area with continued warming and drying conditions. Still may see some lingering moisture, especially in the Uinta Basin, for continued showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. However, we'll be watching the next area of low pressure as it approaches the west coast. Relative humidity on Tuesday and temperatures remain fairly consistent, with warm and dry conditions across Nevada and slightly higher humidity over northern Utah and Wyoming, with again moderate winds slightly stronger along the Sierra front. By Wednesday, this next area of low pressure off the coast starts to move towards the area and we'll see increasing winds along the Sierra front and into much of central and northern areas of the Great Basin, along with a return of moisture over parts of far northern Nevada into Idaho for a return of showers and thunderstorms and some wetting rains. We're finally starting to see a little bit more response and significant fire potential which will be decreasing across Idaho, northern Utah, and Wyoming due to the moisture coming for the next few days along with the cooler temperatures. However, still moderate fire potential continues in parts of Nevada. As we move into Thursday, we see a return of warm and dry conditions as that low moves northeast into Nevada and southern Utah, but still continued showers and thunderstorms over the northern portion of the area. Looking into Friday and Saturday, we'll see drying across the entire Great Basin along with temperatures possibly warming again. Overall forecast amounts of precipitation will be a little bit lighter than what we've been looking at the last couple of days. Generally fairly light with only some wetting rains over parts of southeast Idaho into western Wyoming and northern Utah through Tuesday. And then as we move through mid to late next week, we'll see more wetting rains mainly for the northern portion of the Great Basin. Now looking at the fire danger indices across the Great Basin, ERCs continue to increase rapidly, especially in the very warm and dry conditions of Nevada and Utah, with some areas of western Nevada and eastern Utah near or above the 80th percentile. We will see some decreases in ERC across Idaho and eastern portions of the Great Basin through next week as we see a return of cooler temperatures and moisture. However, Nevada will still remain very warm and dry in most areas. The outlook for the first into second week of October shows still very warm conditions expected for the western U.S., along with below normal precipitation, especially for northern portions of the Great Basin. However, we may see some moisture move back into Utah. That concludes the briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for listening.